Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This video is exciting. <laughs> I'm cutting my hair. I know, listen, just hear me out, right? I'm cutting it, I want a TWA again. I just want little baby curls. We'll go over it, okay? So, first, what I'm gonna do is section my hair off and then I'm gonna just let y'all watch. Uh, I've cut my hair on camera before, I think, but yeah. I'm just gonna section it off and, um, well, do I need to section it off? I'm really cutting all of it off. So, I don't know. So my roots are doing this and I want them to do this. I said all of that to say, I'm gonna take you through my cut and color process. Let's go. Oh wait, are you subscribed? Sis, what you doing? Go ahead and subscribe. Um, I'll be back. I'm gonna go get my supplies and I'll be back and um, uh, you, you'll be subscribed, right? Okay. I am using the Claire All 20 volume developer. I just got this from Sally's. I have Claire All Clear Ice Kaleida Colors um, Bleach. I got this small pack because I'm really just doing the like roots. So that should be plenty. Um, and then my favorite thing, this is the color. This is Caracolor Color Plus Clenditioner, which is a cleanse and conditioner. Um, it deposits the color. So this bright color that you see is this. Um, obviously I had color on it before, but it was very, very faded and it looked almost like, use the ginger color, right? But that was much more toned down, but it was also faded as well. So that brought my color back to life. Um, and it's literally a conditioner, like, that has color in it. I'm excited. The color that I have is copper, and I got this from Ulta. So I'm gonna get started. Um, I'm gonna just let y'all watch me. I don't have a rhyme or reason um, for what I'm doing. I mean, I do, but I just know that I want it short. I don't really know exactly what length I'm I'm going for it, so we're gonna wing it together. Um, and I'm gonna just let y'all watch me, okay? Okay. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm gonna cut a little bit more, but my hair is dry. So I wanna see what it looks like um, wet before I cut any more. I do want it closer than this. Um, but again, I just wanna see what it looks like when it's wet because it might be where I wanted it, you know? So now I'm just gonna start the bleaching process. Um, literally, I'm just going to put this in the bowl, found my bowl and mix it up with this 20 volume developer um, and then run it through, okay?
you. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. <laughs> Look, y'all. She look cute. She curling up and everything. I am definitely going to cut these little whatever this is. I definitely ran out of bleach. Like, I mean, I got the hair, but um, yeah, we ran out. I would recommend getting two packs if you're going to do this. I definitely just like did like this. Um, I had on gloves too. I think I think y'all saw that, but I was just kind of like working it through because this section and like like this section didn't get a whole lot so i think i may keep it i want to go shorter than this honestly but we're gonna keep it here um just in case my bleach don't work so i'm just gonna give her like 10 15 more minutes um and we're gonna see i'm so excited okay guys it worked for the most part i do have some dark spots over in the same areas where i was worried but what i'm gonna do now is go ahead and put the conditioner on i'm gonna just apply it as if i was applying like like shampoo or conditioner since that's what it is ryan little <laughs> First of all, <laughs> last time I applied the color, I think I applied it to dry hair. Pretty sure I applied it to dry hair. Um, so this time I applied it to wet hair. So we'll see if it makes a difference. <laughs> it's a yes for me, honestly. Yes. Not me getting it right on the first try. Come on. I still might go a little shorter later on, but for now, I will, I'm living for the curls, okay? So, last time I left it on for about 30 minutes, I'll probably do the same today, and then I'll be back with the results. What? Or, no, I'm gonna come back and show you how I style it. I guess. Okay, so here we are. She colored really well. That stuff works so good. Um, just a tip, I guess y'all probably maybe know this already. Um, if you rinse it with cold water, it stays. If you rinse it with hot water, it uh, goes. <laughs> I literally, so the water was, it was cold when I first turned it on and I started rinsing my hair and then it turned hot and I'm looking in the sink. As soon as the water turned hot, the color started rinsing down the sink. So keep it in mind. I am just using, this is like a, like a rice water and conditioner and oil kind of situation. Uh, I don't know exactly what's in it, but it makes my hair feel very nice. So I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of that. Um, I'm also going to go in with a little bit of sweet almond oil and just run it through my hair since we just colored and I need some moisture. Now I'm going to go in with the Curl Smith Featherlight Protein Cream. This is from their Strengthen line or Strengthen Recipe. Uh, and I'm actually using three things from the strength and recipe i'm gonna put this in there first so this has right wild rice protein pressed hemp oil prickly pear cactus sweet almond oil shredded kale guava fruit juice shiitake mushrooms what a recipe it smells amazing it doesn't smell like it has all those things in it honestly Next, I'm just going to kind of section off my hair to apply the rest 
of the products. Going with the Bouncy Strength Volume Foam. It has some of the same ingredients in it. This one has a, a two, which they call an invisible hold. And I'm just gonna like rake it through. Come on, Roxy. She said, I've been waiting to release these curls, sweetie. You just been having them ends on there. successful right I'm using the aqua shape up gel this has a five hold which is considered a light hold Ooh, not that need to be cut thank you for cooperating <sighs> oh that looks crazy okay that's it um i hope y'all enjoyed this video this um coloring cuts big chop start over healthy hair journey <laughs> i love you guys i am gonna do my makeup and i'll be back for some slow-mos because you know how i do mm -hmm.